welcome to the Chinese Mandarin class with me. At the beginning, please allow me to have a short introduction of myself. I'm Nicole Huang. I come from Beijing, China, and currently I'm living in the UK. Before coming to the UK, I worked in marketing and sales department in China. I also currently started to be a YouTuber and podcaster. You can find me more by Nicole Chinese Mandarin. I'm having three levels of Chinese classes here, and this one is level one, basic Chinese pronunciation. Okay, without further ado, let's see what is Chinese and how to learn firstly. In China, we have many dialects. One of the most famous one is Cantonese. I think you probably heard this before. The Chinese Mandarin, which will also be called Standard Chinese. Is based on Beijing dialect. Here are two Chinese characters. You have no clue at all about the pronunciation, but now with these tools, we were able to read them. And these tools called pinyin. Before you learn how to write characters, you have to learn how to read pinyin, and this is also a special part of Chinese. You even don't have to learn Chinese characters. Each Chinese character has only one syllable. Each syllable combined by initial, final, and tone. Initials are composed of consonant letters. Finals, except for the nasal finals, are vowel letters. There are twenty-one initials and thirty-five finals in Chinese. This plus two is a special case, which we'll talk about them on lesson four and lesson five. There are four tones in Chinese, five tones to be exact, and the fifth is a neutral tone, which we'll talk about in lesson three. Tones are significant part of Chinese, and here we can see these four characters have same initials and same finals, but with different tones. The pronunciation and meanings would be changed immediately. So if we can't pronounce tones correctly, it will easily cause misunderstanding. More examples are here: 写字，写字，写字。I have to tell you that a lot of Chinese students are struggling with this. Even they've already passed HSK four or five, because they didn't pay much attention on this at the beginning. So it's much easier to build a house with a solid foundation at the first place. But don't be afraid. I'll be with you to help you out. Okay, let's take a look at this chart. It might be helpful for you to set your study goals. According to the CEFR standard on the left, you can know the corresponding Chinese proficiency standard, and you also can decide which level you want to achieve. If you only want to have daily conversation with Chinese people, or you just interesting to Chinese culture, you want to grab a new language, then A2 or B1 will be suitable for you. But if you want to do business with Chinese companies, then C1 or even C2 is the best choice. Finally, let's talk about the way to learn Chinese. If you don't have to pass any professional Chinese proficiency test or do business with Chinese companies, then you probably don't need to learn Chinese characters at all. So you need to put all of your energy on pronunciation. When we practice pinyin. Firstly, learn how to pronounce, then read, listen, read, listen, repeat. At here, listen. On the one hand, is to listen to the correct pronunciation. On the other hand, you can listen to some Chinese audio or video materials. In the beginning, children's animation a good choice. At this time, the purpose of listening is not to understand, but to adapt the Chinese pronunciation to establish a sense of language. Next, record. Many times we know how to pronounce a word, but when we pronounce it, we make the wrong sound, especially when we read a sentence rather than a single word. So record yourself practicing, then listen to your recording. You will realize yourself's mistake and problems.
Don't be embarrassed. A lot of my students say, I don't want to listen to my recording. It's awful. It's disgusting. But trust me, if you put up with it once or twice, you will love it because you will benefit a lot from it. Okay, and then repeat all of the process. In China, we have a slum. Important things needed to mention three times. So at here, I need to say tones, tones, tones. You will meet them as soon as next class. See you on next class.